It's Friday evening. Hello and welcome to The Nine. Tonight, vaping, is it safe or not? A new study... <laughs> I'm Laura Miller. I'm John Beattie. Uh, welcome to the programme. For the next hour, we'll have all your news from across Scotland and the world. And Amy Irons and Jodie McCallum are here with all your weekend sport and entertainment news. Thanks. Good. 10,000. That's how many people die every year in Scotland of smoking-related diseases. The biggest killer is cancer, followed by heart disease. <laughs> And Amy's here later with the sport. Big weekend for Scotland. Certainly is. We are coming to the end of Scotland's Euro 2020 qualifying campaign. Certainly the group stages anyway. And uh, yeah, a couple of games coming up. Cyprus tomorrow and then Kazakhstan on Tuesday. And these games, we can't get out of the group. We cannot get through to the Euros through these results. But we can through the Nations League playoff, which happens next year. But these performances will still matter. They still very much matter to Steve Clark And of course, the fans, they want to see performance performances that they could see them take them into a major tournament and Steve Clark actually said today that he feels encouraged by what he's seen so far despite the fact Does that he? they're not yeah they're not well, getting no, the results they're playing better, but they they're they're playing playing better, better. since mm. he's come in yeah. and uh, yeah he said but of course that won't matter to people until they start winning That's those it. matches so he does acknowledge that so we'll hear more on the build up to that game also we told you last night how Jack Ross has been appointed the Hibs boss more on that as well and who's been linked with the vacant hearts job this could be surprising. Oh, so, uh, to more on that. Guys was a big <laughs> oh, yes, Mark will well, want to know. Not. He'll be watching at home to see who this is. So, okay. uh, yeah, plenty happening. I'll be back in about half an hour. Lovely. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, guys. Amy, thanks. Now, it sounds enticing, doesn't it? When BBC News. Now, it can be seen as a purely cosmetic procedure, but for some women, breast reduction surgery can make a big difference to their physical and mental health. Currently, guidelines say women suffering physical or psychological problems can have the surgery as long as they're not overweight. But a plastic surgeon says more of these operations could save the health service money in the long run. Our reporter, Ellis Horn, has been speaking to two women who were refused the surgery on the NHS. So this is my... BBC News. <laughs> Good advice. Good Gonna advice. Be doing that. <laughs> he looked like he was having fun there. Yes. But um, what is season three all about then? Remind us where we left off and where we're going with this. Well, I don't know about what, if David's got a, th a thrown at home to watch this one, but I certainly don't. Um, so, yeah, we're leaving Claire Foy and Matt Smith. They have left now. And Olivia Coleman and Tobias Menzies take over. So, Olivia Coleman obviously takes on the role of the Queen. And she's very strikingly similar to her in some of the scenes that I've seen so is far. She? It's quite spooky, actually. Right. Yeah, and she's obviously an Oscar winner. Actress, yeah, she's, she's incredible, so great. she's brilliant. Um, and then obviously Tobias Menzies takes over from Matt Smith as Prince Philip, so a lot of change going on. And then we welcome Josh O'Connor, who takes on the role of a kind of younger Prince Charles, and we see the start of his um, romance with. You look quite like him there. He, he's very <laughs> like him as well, strikingly. Even just in the interview, you're like, oh, well, you can yeah. tell who he plays in it instantly. Yeah, so we see the start of his. Um, sort of relationship with Camilla or Shandy as she was known back then I believe so I hear I mean I wasn't okay. mingling with the royals back then but you know <laughs> as they say so lots of scandal Britain going through quite a lot of change so um, times are a change and that's the sort of theme of the next two seasons and we aren't going to wait as long for season four they've already started filming that which is really good and that will include Gillian Anderson as Margaret Thatcher we were, well you were discuss well we were discussing this earlier mm. I think Margaret Thatcher would be chuffed. pretty chuffed yeah <laughs> getting Gillian Anderson to play her I know <laughs> Exactly, and then obviously we will see the introduction yeah. of Princess Diana and that will be played by Emma Corrin, so really oh, exciting stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You are going to tell us now about this, Is the, the Last Christmas, the new movie. Yeah, Last Lots Christmas, yes, I gave you my heart. The very <laughs> next day you gave it away. Yes, I'm really sorry guys, but we're going to get into the festive spirit now. Okay. I don't know um, what, what you guys think, but I can't believe we're even in November. So I can't even think about Christmas at the moment, but I was on a very festive blue carpet earlier this week. Week, chatting to the cast of Last Christmas and it certainly got me in the festive spirit. It might only be midnight tonight. And a little bit of rugby news. It's been a good night for Edinburgh in their European game. They beat Agen 31-10. Four tries scored there. So a lovely bonus point win for them. Nice. Good result for them. Absolutely. Thank you, Dame Amy. Thank you very much, <laughs> Dame Laura. Have a fabulous weekend. <laughs> <Royalty. laughs> Thanks, guys.
Thanks. Joy's here with the weather. How's it looking? I feel like actually, Winter. well, I feel like after all this Christmas stuff, I should be asking what Christmas, what's it going to be like, White Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't say <laughs> too that early. at the moment. Definitely too early. But yeah, it's been a really cold week and um, temperatures have been lower than average. We even saw a minus eight <gasps> on Wednesday night. And wow. Wednesday, so really feeling cold. But actually for the next few days, still cold, not as cold as that. Ah, OK. So, um, yeah, just... Tell us more then, I suppose. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, yes, it was a cool day today and we had a noticeable east-to-west split in our weather. For east coast and the south, was a wee bit um, of a grey day, uh, feeling quite damp. We will be on the other side of it, giving much more settled conditions and feeling a wee bit cosier. That's your forecast. Your Majesty, Joy, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Finally, how do you fancy spending 19 and a half hours on a plane? Fancy it? Depends, do we blag an upgrade? Do you, do you dress smartly? We get to the big stuff, do we? Well, there's no, no stops, and you take in... Indeed. Think that, of the movies we? you could be watching um, on that flight. Yeah, all the way. Well, that's it from us tonight. Nick and Fiona will be here at 7 uh, with the news and a review of the week in seven days tomorrow. But stay tuned for a real children yeah. in need treat. Jackie Bird has a packed show for you with performances from none other than Susan Boyle. Plus, the children's choir are joined by the BBC Scottish Symphony Orchestra. Sounds great. And let's not forget, she'll be showing you just how your donations make such a huge difference to all the children and all the young people all over Scotland. From me, John Beattie. And from me, Laura Miller. That was the night. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend. Good night.